Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever had a brilliant new idea for a product that you just knew was going to be a rip-roaring success? Well, unfortunately, not every project is like that and quite a lot of new products actually fail to make it to market. In this video, we're going to look at three examples and what we can learn from their stories. I'm Phil, product innovator and founder of D2M, a product design company that has helped hundreds of businesses and startups to turn their product ideas into successful products. With 20 years of experience, my expertise lies in turning ideas into thriving businesses. I've even developed and sold my own product range into the leading high street retailer, John Lewis. I'm thrilled to share my insider knowledge with you. First up, we have Omnio. Now this is a really clever idea. It's a pushchair that turns into a backpack. The idea is that when a child is two or three years old, they don't want to spend all day in the pushchair, but equally they're too tired to spend all day walking or out on a family day trip. So this is a really convenient solution for the carer so that actually towards the end of the day, they just take it off their back, turn it into a pushchair, and they can put the tired child in that. Now, everyone thought it was an amazing idea. It launched to international acclaim, it won innovation awards, and it actually got orders from distributors around the world. Our client was really made up about this. They'd raised over half a million pounds for production and it was looking great. But the problem was they then added in additional features which cost more money. And by the time the product launched, it was actually 70 pounds more expensive than they'd said. At that stage, all the distributors called out bar one, all the pre-orders were canceled. And unfortunately that started the company's decline and the company was struck off a couple of years later. Lesson learned, keep your eyes on your costs. Your target sell price and your manufacturing cost are absolutely essential to get right. Don't get carried away and overspec your products. Take a minimum viable product approach. Now, it is always hugely sad when a new project idea doesn't succeed. We work really hard with our clients to try and ensure success, but at the end of the day, nothing is guaranteed. But this video isn't supposed to get you depressed. It's just supposed to help you learn the lessons so that you can be successful with your new product idea. Next up, we have GoBag. Now this is a rucksack for weekend use. It had clever compression technology in it, which basically means you can cram more in and it can go on a plane as hand luggage so you don't have to wait at the airport at the other end for the hold luggage to come off the flight. It launched on Kickstarter. It was wildly successful, raising over 300,000 pounds. The client gave up his job and was focused solely on delivering this. But there was a problem. There were quality issues at the factory, the handle started to come off, and this killed the whole project. Lesson learned, make sure you have the right quality control systems in place and keep a very close eye on your supply chain. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get all notifications about our latest videos. Finally, this is BlockSafe. It's a secondary lock that goes over the outside of a hotel safe. Now, hotel safes are notoriously easy to break into, and in certain countries in the world, actually the government or the companies that people are visiting will break into the safes, steal the company laptops, and steal the data off of those laptops. This is a really widespread problem, actually, and the client who came up with this idea had experienced it firsthand. Now the product works really well and manufacturing was all sorted out. The cost was right, so the client got a lot right with this project. But the problem was his consulting business was taking off at about the same time that the product really needed a significant investment in time and money to sell and market it effectively. Now the client couldn't really spare this time. He didn't bring in a business partner, didn't bring in any investment. A huge shame that you do need to think about have you actually got the time to make your product successful once it's launched and on the market? Lesson learned, marketing and sales is just as important as the right product. Make sure that you can commit what you need to in terms of time and funds to making your product a success. So there you have it, three examples of really good products that ultimately failed. But maybe your product idea will be a massive commercial success Learn the mistakes in this video and check out this video next to go through some other things that you need to know before you get started on developing and launching your new product.